This is a read aloud of Olivia, which was written and illustrated by Kevin Falconer, read by Lauren Sambuco. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. La, 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 la. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. <sighs> Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Rawr! Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog, Perry, and Edwin, the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth, and combs her ears, and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. Sometimes, Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. <laughs> Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two? Three. Oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway too.